Hey, uh, this is Jerry from Slapdash Minis doing a quick tut tutorial on how to throw together a grot tank from just bits you might have lying around. And I'm going to start off with uh, the back half of an old war track, which any or player has probably got a million of these things. And to start off, I got the back half of this thing. was using some other uh, build at some point in time. I don't even really remember where I got it from, but I got a pile of them, so I'm going to make grot tanks with them. And I got my pile of limited little bits here. Just various orking stuff out of my bits box, put together and see where I end up. I haven't really made much of a plan for this, so we'll see how we get. Uh, let's see, got a bit from a Killican engine. Oddly enough, fits perfect there. So that's where it's going to end up. It's going to be the back of the tank. And glue her on down and see how quick I can get this whole thing built. Let that dry and I'll do some work on the turret here. Not sure what weapons I'm supposed to get. Might have to re uh, rip this off again, but just for fun, we're going to build some sort of weird custom Mega Blaster thing. That way I can use this as a war track in my army if I want to. So, a little random script of plastic, a couple Tau, whatever guns they are, I'm not really sure, but they're in my box, they're getting used. Set up and go back to the hull. Uh, I got a little random armor plate from, I think it's a side door piece from a battle wagon. I think that'll look good for a big plate of armor in the front. Just gonna trim it down a little bit. So just throwing a little bit of a brace across the top of this blast of gun that I'm making, orc it up a little bit, I'm going to add some rivets to it later, and add a few spikes and whatnot, because all orky vehicles need spikes, and it kind of hides where, where the bits came from. Alright, there's the basis for my gun on uh, one of the turrets from the Orc Battle Wagon. I had it kicking around, so I was lazy and it saved me some time. Let that dry up and I'll do a little more work on the hull, maybe bulk it out, give this turret a place to fix. It's got to fit right about here somewhere. A little 40 thousandths uh, thick plastic card. And let's see how I'm going to measure this out. Tricking for the camera, and I'm just trying to mark off the uh, distance over here, between here and here. Slide a piece in. Well, that one's got super glue all over it, so. Try and make it so everybody can seize it. Mark it off on the other side, too. Hopefully, get a vaguely reliably square cut here. I'll be putting a lot of gubbins on it, so you probably barely even see it. That's why you need a good ruler. And just marking it off, see where to cut it. Might have to trim it down a little bit later, but don't worry about that when it comes to it. Gonna fold it over and make a copy for the for the other side. It saves a little bit of time. Two identical pieces. Have to file them a little bit to make them fit, probably. But oop, oop. 
Like a glove. Alright, so we got the sides of the basic little uh, center hull there. Just gonna put a piece across the front to fill that gap, throw a piece on top, throw a bunch of details on it, and uh, we're pretty much three quarters of the way done this thing already. All about the back half of this thing, the war track. Perfect starting point, does 80% of your work for you. Alright, so how deep is that? And it's much easier when you're when you're trying to measure to measure directly off the model you're working rather than try and measure with a ruler and then transfer it. That just compounds the margin for error. So that's my tip of the day. And when you're trying to get a really tight fit on something, it's a lot easier to. Uh, Cut it oversized and just try and sneak it down to the size by trimming a little bit off at a time. A lot easier to do that than it is to try and make a whole nother piece because you made it too small. Alright, there's your basic sides in the center hole. Throw a piece on the top. Should uh, flush it up and make uh, ready for the turret. And then after that, it's pretty much all just throwing on details. So, and again, just measuring off the piece I just built because I guarantee it's not entirely square. So there's no point in trying to measure it and draw out a perfect square. When you're cutting plastic uh, sheet, probably the easiest way to do it. You don't have to cut all the way through in one pass. Just uh, give it a couple pa light passes with the knife and then just go perfect clean cut every time and it makes life a lot easier, less likely to hack into your thumb or your finger, which I've done many times. And since this thing's looking way too clean, it'll be a lot easier to do at this point. I'm going to add in some uh, chips and dings and just a little bit of damage here and there. Because, well, orcs don't pick, uh, repair their stuff very well. You're highly unlikely that a grot's going to. So, just nick the edges up with the knife. It's really quick and easy to do. Alright, just showing off a little bit of the damage I just did there. And I think I'm going to take this fender clean off. I'm going to assume that uh, this grot's a bad driver, so bust it up. Attack it with your clippers. There's not really any wrong way to do it, just as long as it looks all chewed up. Make the nice ragged edge with your knife. There we go. And do the back one a little bit. Alright, here's your basic hull done up. There you go. go back to working on the turret because it's dry. Throw a few rivets on it, finish off the main gun. Maybe add some sort of uh, Grot Rebellion banner or something like that. Uh, this stuff I got here, is you good? It's a plastic hex rod. It's like regular plastic rod, but it's uh, clearly hexagon shape. Lets you make nuts and bolts, not just rivets. Really helpful on uh, making things look uh, extra detailed rather than uh, the way I used to do, which is just cut bolts off existing models, but that takes forever, and eventually you run out and have to buy a new whole new model for it. This is cheaper. Okay. Same way I was showing you with the rivet tutorial I did the other day, just slice off a few pieces, try and keep them nice and even. You don't have to be perfect. We are talking orcs, but... That 
that stick to you. Have a rage fit. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna throw a, throw a few on the hull, throw some extra detail in there. Make it look like it's uh, part of the same model, blends in nice. You got your nut and bolt right there, you got your uh, bolt head right there. Add a teeny tiny little bit of plastic card, which is hard to line up at this angle. Then you've got a little well detailed nut and bolt head. All right, there's your basic grot tank hull. Done, ready to go. Just got to slap a turret on it. Might try and cover up this little hole. Not sure what with yet. Maybe just clip it out and throw an armor plate. Got a little bit from, I think it's from Gorka Morka. I'm not sure. Just a little ammo crate. Looks good right there. Nice thing about orcs, you ever make a mistake, you can always kind of hide it with gubbins. Random stuff. For some reason I've uh, put a piece of plastic plate on this for whatever project it was part of before, so there's a little stem on there. I'm just going to use that, drill a hole in here, and that will be how I mount my turret. Be removable, swappable if I want to do something else, put a big flamethrower on there. Really don't know what. At the moment I'm building it for fun, so. Easiest way, just take your little trusty pin vise, drill yourself a hole, try and center it. Is that going to be too far back? Now we're going to put it a little further forward than that. Alright. Then grab a file and just make the hole a little bigger. And triangular files, even though they're triangular, make nice perfect round holes and they chew through the plastic really, really quick. If you try and do this with a round file, you're going to be here all day. Just clean up the hole a little bit, scrape off this excess. That's pretty much a basic grot tank right there. I'm going to add a few things to it, but uh, you can totally field it as is.